Well, hey, gang. Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different out of necessity. Unfortunately, I had planned to do a caged video, another caged video, and another song request this weekend. But fate intervened, and I spiced up my thumb pretty badly. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's in pretty bad shape right now. So I'm afraid I can't be doing that sort of thing. Um, instead, what I thought I would do is kind of tell you a little bit about... Um, uh, my latest project or whatever I was able to I haven't modified a guitar in quite a while maybe a couple of years in a major way and so what I thought I was gonna I'm, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do and what I thought I'd do for you guys is I, I picked up this affinity strat on uh, flea bay a little while back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify it um, piece by piece and uh, we'll post videos periodically so you can hear how the sound is changing when I change one thing or other and you know I'll tell you which pickups or whatever I'm putting into it so what I thought I would do is baseline it the best I can you know I'm a little bit limited in terms of what I can play on here but to give you an idea of what I got out of the box uh, before I modify anything this is sort of a baseline of where we start before we do anything so just a couple of things um you know i was able to pick this up for just a little over 100 bucks um shipped so that's not a bad deal i think um at least i didn't think so um pretty nice finish it's a nice i think it's a nice looking guitar now just a couple of things about affinity strats in general affinity strats are very very thin bodied so they're very light um, now I happen to like that. Um, I know a lot of people put you know thickness and weight of the body in terms of the tone. I don't think that matters all that much. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, however, uh, one thing it probably will, and I'll let you know, the thinness is going to affect what happens when I change things that involve the body cavity because they may go through or whatever. Maybe screws are too long or whatever. So I can let you know about that. However, just first impression it's pretty light and pretty well balanced um, uh, which is pretty cool um, second thing um, I think you'll notice um, is that or the third thing I guess the finish and then the lightness the third thing is that this neck I was not expecting as good of a neck as it was as it is this neck has a tremendously good feel to it now it's a nine and a half inch radius 25 and a half inch scale uh, guitar um, and it just feels, this is a satin finish, but it's unlike a lot of other satin finishes. You can barely even feel it there. It just is one of the best feeling necks that I've ever played on, amazingly, um, which is a, a huge bonus. I was thinking about I'm going to change the neck, and I still may do it, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But um, really, it's a pretty fantastic neck. Now, the one thing that you will notice, I guarantee, is that this has, at the nut, it's only 40.6 millimeters instead of the standard Fender 42 millimeters, I think, on a, on a standard Squire, and maybe a little bit more on regular ones. Um, you would think that one millimeter or a millimeter and a half really wouldn't make that much of a difference, but it does. Your hand does feel a little bit crowded up here. It, took, it didn't take me very long to get used to it, but it does affect a little bit how you can bend, especially in the registers right around here, around the 5th to 7th frets and below. Um, you can't really bend as much as you normally would want to. So it's just something to keep in mind that your fingers are going to be, especially as you play in the lower position, they're going to be closer together. All right, so that's it for the neck. Great stuff on the neck. Now, as a little addendum, the nut on this is the typical cheap uh, fake uh, nut. You know, if that may be one of the things I change. I may change that to a bone nut or uh, put in one of those tusk nuts. We'll see. Uh, tuners are actually pretty good. I'm probably not going to mess with those. Um, it stays in tune pretty well, even without putting in, you know, I haven't done anything. I haven't even put in graphite into the, into the nut slots. Um, let's see what else. Um, you know, the, the, the pick guard is a one ply and some of this looks a little bit cheap. The pots are clearly a little bit cheap. Um, and the switch here, definitely a cheap switch. So I'll probably be switching that out for a standard fender switch. My guess, I haven't gone yet into the body cavity, but my guess is that it's going to be totally unshielded. There's a little bit of noise in the pickups. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll turn it up. Maybe you can hear a little bit of background noise, but in the, uh, in the, uh, 
one, three, and five positions, there's noise. And the two and four, there's not because they're, of course, noise canceling. Um, the bridge is, uh, but the trim is pretty bad, actually, for two reasons. One is that um, it's got one of those zinc blocks in the back, um, so you probably would want to replace it with a brass or steel uh, block, but also it's shortened block so that it, because, right, because this, the body is not as deep, it's a shortened block. So it's not going to, it's not going to sustain as much, I guess, and stay in. Uh, my guess is that also it's going to have two instead of three springs. So we may change out the trim. And in order to do that, I'm guessing that I'm going to have to just take off the back plate and leave it like that, leave it sticking out a little bit. But we'll see. Um, now, to get to the, the real heart of it, however, um, let's talk about the pickups. Um, now, the pickups, um, um, I guess, I'm, I'm, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't extra happy either. Um, they sound okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just kind of take you through some of those sounds. They sound okay clean, but to add any overdrive at all, they, don't, they really don't handle overdrive uh, well at all. Uh, at least in my opinion. Um, so that I think is kind of a, the biggest weakness of the guitar, and the thing I'm gonna that I think affects the sound the most is the pickups. That's why I'm gonna start there. So um, just to run down with the pickup sound, here's the uh, here's the uh, the neck in position. I guess they call this position number five in a strap, right? So it, it has a bit of that sound. Here's the position two. Not as much quack as you would hope. Again, I'm, I'm a little, it's a little bit darker because of just how I'm playing, but not as much quack. Here's the middle position. You know, um, here's the uh, here's the uh, br the uh, the bridge and the middle position together. Not bad, actually. It's got a, a decent amount of quack, uh, but I like a little bit more. And then the bridge, which I think is really sort of the weakness of this guitar. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry to take you through that one. Anyway, it's really kind of a weakness of this guitar, and it really doesn't handle overdrive well at all. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the pickups, and um, and we'll go from there. We'll see how it changes and gets better or whatever. And also, you know, given the size of the body, I'll let you know all the problems I run to when I change, I run into when I change various componentry. So anyway, I apologize again for hacking up my thumb uh, and having to wait a little bit on the cage system and on your songs, but hopefully this is a reasonable replacement for that for now, and uh, we'll see you on down the road, hopefully with a little bit better thumb. All right, have a great weekend.